Hey guys, I'm Sibby from Tribal Soup Project and welcome to another episode of Creative Corner. Today is going to be a hair wrapping tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how to do speed wraps or quick wraps. Um, usually if you go to a big franchise theme parks and if they offer hair wraps, this is the kind of hair wrap you're going to get. Um, it's called a speed wrap or a quick wrap because it takes very little time to do. It only takes about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes depending on how adept you are at doing hair wraps. Um, they actually, they can last for a good amount of time. Um, I've seen quick wraps last for up to three months. And then alternatively, I have seen them last only a week. Usually that's on a small child. But if you're not familiar what, with what a hair wrap is, a hair wrap is when you take a piece of hair, a section of hair, and then you wrap string around it and you can tie beads and stuff like that on it. So um, getting started with that, the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to make a bead threader. Um, making that you don't necessarily have to have a bead threader to do this, but having a bead threader actually makes it like a million times easier. So I'm going to go ahead and make one real quick for you guys so you can see how it is done. And I'm just going to use some copper wire to do this. And um, this is 22 gauge wire, so it is fairly thin wire. And that's what you want. You don't want to use a piece of wire that is real thick because then, you know, if your beads don't have like a huge hole in it, then it's not going to fit through the bead threader. And then what's the point of that? So I'm just going to take this length of copper wire here and I'm just going to like kind of fold it in half like this. And then I'm going to take a large bead and I'm going to put it through the wire here at the end. And then I'm simply just going to take the top of the wire and bend it down over the bead and wrap it around its base, just like this. And this doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be good. It's that this is not something that is actually going in somebody's hair. This is just done for the sole purposes of making it easier for you to put the beads onto the hair wrap. So the only other things you are going to need in order to make a hair wrap, the only thing that you actually absolutely have to have is embroidery floss. And I'm going to be using these small spools of embroidery floss today. Usually when I go out and vend, I have the great big cones, but um, I have some of this sitting around, so I'm just going to kind of try to start using it up a little bit. So the only thing you really need is embroidery floss. Other optional things that you might need are of course beads, bobby pins, hair ties, the bead threader, bells. And if you don't want to put your hair wrap in your actual hair, then you can use a gator clip to clip it on. But today, we are going to have Sally Sillyhead here help us learn how to do hair wraps. So the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my beads onto my bead threader in the order that I want them. And I'm going to have, and it's actually when you put them onto your bead threader, you're going to put them onto the bead threader in the reverse port, in the reverse direction of how you will put them on the hair. So at the very bottom of my hair wrap, I'm going to have these bells. So I'm going to put these bells on my bead threader, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my beads on. And I'm just going to use three beads today. And I'm going to do this white one, then this pretty amber colored one, and then this white one here, just like that. And like I said, this bead is not going to go in the hair. It's only these that will go in. And this is about what it's going to look like when it is on the hair wrap. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to section out my my piece of hair that I'm going to be using for the hair wrap. And um, it is actually best to put hair wraps down here, slightly below the ear down here. You can put them up here as well, but um, if you're not using a mannequin head, then that person's hair is going to grow after the hair wrap is in. It's going to continue growing. And a lot of times what happens is as it grows out, then it like knots up at the top. So if you put a hair wrap up here at the top, when it grows out, you're going to have this big dread here. And if that's not like a desired look for you, then you probably don't want to put your hair wrap up there. Um, and this actually, a lot of people, the reason they don't want it down here is because they think you can't see it. But trust me, 
you can see it down here. It's like a lot of colors in your hair. It is very easily visible to you. And it's actually, it's a very comfortable place to put it when you brush your hair and stuff like that. It's the place where it's least likely to get caught by a brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin sectioning out my piece of hair. <coughs> I'm going to use a bobby pin. And starting right here above the ear, I'm just gonna make one line back here, just like that. And then I'm going to pin this up over here, just to get it out of my way. All right. Depending on how thick you want your hair wrap to be, um, I think I'm actually I'm gonna pin this part up too. I think the hair I want I think I want it to be like right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pin a little bit more back, doing like the same motion where I'm just dragging my bobby pin across to make kind of like a line there. And then I'm just gonna pin it up to get it out of my way. Just like that. And then I'm gonna pin this part up here too. And then I'm gonna section out about this much. I think this is, this is the section of hair I'm gonna be using today. So now that I have a clear section defined, I'm gonna kind of take the rest of this hair and pull it over here to the side And just put a rubber band in it, just so that it is out of my way completely. Alright, and now that I've got my hair pulled out over there, I can go ahead and kind of rearrange these bobby pins so that they are better holding the hair out of my way. Add some on there if need be. All right, so now that I've got my section of hair sectioned out, I'm going to go ahead and braid that up. All right, so now that I've got my piece of hair all braided up, I am ready to go ahead and get my strain. Um, Sally Silly Head does have rather long hair, so I'm going to need kind of a long piece of string to do this. And today I'm going to be using four colors. Um, for the quick wraps, you really only need four different colors, or you can go up to six. I wouldn't really suggest doing any more than that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my, or get my pieces of string together. Just like this. Kind of line them up next to each other. And now that I've got all my pieces of string together in my hand, I'm simply going to pull like this. And I'm going to measure two arm lengths one time. Two arm lengths again. And then one arm length. Right, and then I'm going to just go ahead and cut it off. Just like that and set these aside. Now that I've got my string all cut, I'm going to go ahead and like kind of fold it in half like this. All right? So I've got the center of all my pieces of string. And I'm going to go ahead and put it into the hair. So, 
still holding the center. You're going to bring it up to the base of the scalp here. And you're going to make one just regular knot to tie it in. And you're going to pull it tight and then push it up. The tighter your hair wrap is, the longer it is going to last in your hair. Right. So now I am going to begin with the rust color. And I'm just going to section out, pull out the rust color that I want to start working with here. And then with this remainder part of the string, I'm going to throw it over my shoulder like this so that it is out of my way. Using my index finger, I'm going to hold, place my index finger right under here, right under the string like this. And then I'm going to begin wrapping the color I'm working with around. And I'm going to push it up. The first color is always the hardest color because it wants to kind of slip out of your hair. But if you keep a tight hold of it and you keep your finger here and then you continue to push it up like this, then it will stay in the hair easier. And as you've done this several times, it becomes easier and easier to do this. And I'm simply going to toss my string around until I have the color as long as I want it to be. making sure to push it up every now and then. And when I push it up, I grab the section of hair only, and then I pull the rest of it up like that. And that's about as long as I want this part to be. So now that I am at the end of how long I want the color to be, still using my index finger, holding it here, I'm going to put my pinky out like this. I'm going to take my rust-colored string, and I'm going to wrap it around my pinky and toss it over my entire hand, just like this. So that when I pull it out, I have a nice, clear place that I can pull the string through, just like that, so that I can tie a knot. And then I'm just going to go ahead and push it up one more time. You're going to repeat this process for every color going down the hair wrap. Wrapping the string around the hair, and then when you're ready to change color, tying the knot. string like I am. Um, it can be a little bit frustrating and a little stressful, but you really should not worry about that because, I mean, it is just at the end of the string, and you can just, if you can't pull it apart, you can just cut that end. It's, it's no big deal to get that knot. So, I know a lot, when I first started to do it, I used to get really stressed out about the string knotting up, but it's not that big of a deal. Just pull it out as long as you can and cut it.
the end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a special knot at the end before I put the beads on. And part of the reason I always do this special knot at the end, it just seems like it makes the hair wrap flow at a much more clean look going from string into beads. And the knot we're going to do is called the spiral staircase. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one string of each color, because as you can see, we've got two of each one. So I'm going to take just one string of each color just like that. And then I'm going to put the remaining string over my shoulder again. And all I'm going to do is I am going to tie the same knot I did between each of these colors, but I'm going to do it with all the strings and I'm going to do that all the way down. So I'm going to tie a knot over and over again. Alright, so now that I've got it as long as I want, I'm ready to put my beads on. And all I've got left is this hair right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. Alright. Now, taking my bead threader, I'm going to begin by putting just those three beads on. Like this. Then I'm going to stick my string through it, like so. And then I'm just going to push my beads up, just so that it can real easily go on. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie just a regular knot. I'm going to tie one time, two times, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my bells on. And I'm going to put my bells on in the same fashion, but I'm only going to put the bells on half of the string. So again, I'm just going to stick the string through my bead threader, and then just move the bells on up the bead threader and onto the string, just like that. And now that I've got the bells on there, I'm going to go ahead and continue my spiral staircase right here down at the end. And at the end, I'm just going to tie a regular wolf's head knot. Just like that. So I hope you guys learned something from watching this today. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down into the comments below. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because that really helps me out. Check out our website and see some of the other cool videos, listen to the music, see what else we got going on out there. And until next time, guys, create lots of cool stuff. Bye!